Hi, this is Brian Forcer of HiddenIncaTours.com and the following is footage that I forgot I even had of uh, ancient sites at Byblos in Lebanon. Byblos, of course, is where the word Bible comes from. So you'll see megalithic aspects as well as Roman and other civilizations. Please enjoy. Okay, Stephen, so we're in Byblos. What are we looking at? Well, finally we have found what we've come to look for. Evidences of ancient Kemet. Here is cyanite oh. stone from Aswan, and there's Didit. Right, right. There it is. There it is. <laughs> so what Stephen's pointing out is the fact that this stone is cyanite, which is probably from the Aswan Quarry in southern Egypt, and we are in the middle of Lebanon. I know, but we found it. So part of the reason why we're in Lebanon, we happen to be at Byblos, which is an ancient Phoenician uh, sea, seaside town, and uh, Byblos, when you translate it, means book, and of course that is where the word Bible comes from, but this site is much, much older than uh, Probably biblical times, you're going into the Phoenician times and before. So here we have Yusuf Awian of the Kemet School. We and did have no doubt when we were coming here that we're going to see evidence of site transformation. And here it is. This looks like the pillars were reshaped by the Romans and then reused in that structure. And what material is it that I'm touching here? This is what we know in Egyptology, the, the rose granite of Aswan. We have no doubt it's the same formation, but we know now it's more to cyanite after our test, even the one in Egypt. But this e is, and even still though, the cyanite would probably have come from the Aswan Quarry. This is from the Aswan Quarry. I was just uh, being told by our tour guide here, and uh, the Lebanese tour guide, that they don't have the granite here in, uh, in Lebanon at all. So this was all brought from Egypt. And that, the distance between the Aswan quarry in here would be at least a thousand miles. At least, and I don't believe the Roman Empire would do this. This is evidence of that we had structures here from ancient Egyptian civilization, and then it was recycled, same like what we see in Egypt, when the Romans came and they recycled the stone from the same site and built with it almost also on the same site. We have many evidence that we were just looking at the Ashmonean, and we saw the basilica from the Greek or Roman era, and we saw evidence around it that shows that it was once a temple with dynastic writings from the uh, late period, the New Kingdom, the Middle Kingdom. So it was all inherited. The same case of what we see in Egypt. And we see here more than one type. We see gray granite and rose granite. So what Yusuf has pointed out, and it's so obvious here, because you have cubes of stone forming a wall, but then you have these circular things. What the circular things are, are the remnants of ancient pillars. Now, the Greeks and the Romans were not capable of actually producing an entire pillar out of any material. They worked mainly in limestone, which is very soft, but there was no way that they were working large pillars, say four meters or more, and sometimes much more, out of something like this, which is gray granite, like that, or the pinkish colored material, um, which comes from the Aswan Quarry in Egypt. So clearly we're looking at evidence, most likely, that the ancient Egyptians were here and built a site, and then after the crash of their civilization, then the later cultures came and recycled material such as this, in this case, maybe to reinforce the wall or as ornamentation, but history as we know it is being rewritten because the standard archaeological story and anthropological story no longer makes any sense. Hello. <laughs> Commission pillars, Brian. Yeah. Granite duty. Yeah. 
And the, and the base is limestone turning to marble. So the columns you're looking at, notice they're one piece. Now these are not big columns, but they are one piece. In general, the Greeks and the Romans made their columns out of several sections, even the smaller ones. They were technically not capable of uh, necessarily being able to quarry and shape columns of that size. And the dynastic Egyptians we know didn't have iron up until the 8th century BC. So anything older than that would have to have been the product of an older culture. This is the Also, these stones on the bottom are actually quite large. They say that the um, this fortress was built by the Crusaders about a thousand years ago. But clearly, especially when you look at that big one in comparison to the size of people, that the Crusaders had their fortress constructed out of a much older site. Uh, because again, you see the mix of different materials. You have beautiful cubes and then you have rubble and then you have megalithic-ish blocks huge things like that and so like almost uh, well many places we visit in Egypt and also in Peru and Bolivia you see obviously that uh, cultures such as the, e, uh, the Inca and the dynastic Egyptians were recycling older megalithic works from uh, older cultures which seemingly had better capability of working with stone than either the Inca or the dynastic Egyptians.